It's your boy DJ Kane, DJ C A Y N S me. Make sure to cop the hats, DJ C A Y N E dot com. And Serato has been purchased by Pioneer. Very interesting because Serato's the software that more than likely you have, and then Pioneer more than likely you have some Pioneer, you know, DJ equipment. And they they kind of go hand in hand already because most DJs use Serato. Most DJs I know have Pioneer equipment. Now they're one and the same. So what does that mean? Interesting. I don't know. DJ Phil Morris is on here. Uh, you guys have probably seen some of his videos on uh, DJ Digital Tips. And we're going to kind of get his, you know, what he thinks about it. I'm going to give my input on it. Make sure to subscribe and follow the page. Let's get into the video. Where you at, Phil? Here we go. Now you go away on holiday and all hell breaks loose. Look, mm. record box in Serato, Pioneer DJ, Alpha Theta buying Serato. What does this mean for everyone? Okay, I don't even know Alpha Theta, but okay, I guess the, that's Pioneer. So here's a few thoughts. The first thought is, of course, uh, it's big news, biggest piece of news in the DJ world for quite a long time, for several years, I would say. For record box users, this could be really good news because ultimately Serato is a great research and development company. And so you're going to see a lot of the technology folded into the Pioneer DJ ecosystem and therefore being directly advantageous if you're a record box user. Yeah. So my thing is like if Serato is going to be directly integrated into their, what do you say, ecosystem, I wonder if it's going to be a thing, especially for folks to use CDJs. If you have your cue points on Serato, will it kind of transfer onto the CDJ software? Are they going to make like patches and firmware updates where my information in Serato can transfer to the Pioneer CDJs? I mean, I, then again, I've never touched the 3000s. I don't know if it's already like that with the 3000s, but with the older equipment, I wonder how that's going to work. So we'll see. So and that could include stems as well. Let's face it, they've had a rocky start as far as quality goes with Recordbox software. For Serato users, a bit of a mixed bag really because yes, Serato's most popular controllers are already made by Pioneer DJ. Mm -hmm. But think about it, there's lots of other companies that make Pioneer DJ controllers. In their announcement, Pioneer DJ have said they'll carry on working with third parties and that nothing's really going to change. But look- What kind of controls do y'all use? Because Every DJ I know either has Rev7, SRT1000, or the SX3. I really don't know any other DJ that uses like a Hercules or something. At least seriously. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I got a, I think I got a Hercules that I carry like if I go on a plane or something, but I'm not going to be in the club with that thing. Looking forward to the medium and long term doesn't appear quite so rosy for me for Serato because ultimately our other companies who are not Pioneer DJ are going to want to license software directly from a company which also makes record box and which makes more to the point controllers that compete directly with theirs. We're looking at the kind of the Reloops and the Hercules and the, the Rolands of this world but also more interesting. Again I don't know any other DJ that uses that stuff like not trying to down other brands because they're really i've had a i played on a rolling turntable and gemini i played on gemini mixer which is gemini mixers are really dope by the way vest tax that's real old school but it's like 90 percent of djs i know have pioneer and 99 of them i know use serato i don't know you know if i know a dj that plays on cdjs they don't really use i mean I, you got to have record box to edit the soft uh tracks whatever to get the um wavelengths on them but that's all they use they don't use anything and they use pioneer cdj so i don't know Interestingly, the reigns and the new marks the den okay the reigns yeah i know some djs they use that but not many djs the in music brands because think about it in music is a company which is probably the only really big company left that is in a position to not only be big enough because roland is definitely big enough but also is in a position where it wants to uh, compete with alpha theta in other words with pioneer dj alpha theta being the, the, That's cool. the company name of pioneer alpha dj theta. so now we've got a situation where there are controllers made by rain and made by newmark which are currently licensing software, i.e. Serato, from Pioneer DJ, their biggest competitor. Can't see that going on much longer personally. Hmm. So, 
So I guess that means there might be some new software. They might start going with virtual DJ or something. Hmm. Virtual DJ, not a bad software. The the uh, the layout looks a little different with the red and blue and all that, but you can change that. You can customize your skins on the you know. So I don't know. We might see these other brands starting to license their own softwares. You might start seeing DJs get. Uh, sponsored by different types of software. So that's going to be very interesting. Very interesting. What does that mean for in music? If I was them, I'd be thinking seriously about using Engine DJ, which of course is in music standalone gear brand, using Engine DJ as a platform to compete, compete with kind of the record box, Serato, Axis of this world. Because Engine DJ has already really pushed Pioneer DJ to get its act together and to start making software which is embedded in the XDJs and the CDJ equipment that's good uh, and that actually develops and that's got streaming services and that's got high quality um, stuff in it that wouldn't be there if it weren't for the competition, the shot in the arm it was given by Engine DJ turning up mm. and by Denon DJ Prime being such good equipment. And so now what we could Look, see I is Engine DJ shit. developing into stuff. a Oops, big platform. Me. Because in music might just think, well, we need our own platform more than ever now. And so I'd like to see Engine DJ become. Well, it just makes sense to have the companies kind of go independent because the competition is. You got to be competitive in the DJ market. And I feel like when it comes to DJing all across the board, everybody uses the same stuff, like the same stuff, literally, even at the nightclubs. It's like standardized equipment to have either the. The SRT-1000 has actually became club standard. Um, Rev7 is getting there. Pioneer Nexus 2000s and the Mixer, which is a Nexus Mixer. Every club I've been to has that. I've never been to a nightclub that has a Gemini or a Rain as a club standard. You know, it's always the same stuff. And same with the controllers. 90% of the time, DJ has an SRT-1000 or Rev7. You know, so some DJs have the rain, the one that has the moving platters, but it's very few of y'all. And y'all that get that, the ones I know that have that over time, y'all upgrade to the Rev 7. So what what is going to be the factor that really sets this apart? I've even heard the name Serato being used in rap songs by Kanye. So it's a staple brand. Pioneer, too. So what is going to be the factor that really sets these brands apart? Where, vert, you know, rain, rain. Some of their older mixers, I know they were really good for like scratch mixers. What's another one? The Roland, and then the other one that just came out. I think it's like a European brand. Um, it's like green, not Gemini. <sighs> Can't think of the name of it. Is it Roland? Hold on. I gotta look it up. What is it called, bro? It's like a DJ mixer. DJ brand. I gotta type it in DJ mixer brands. Uh, Denon. Denon DJ. Denon. Okay. There we go. Denon. So yeah, Denon, what really sets that apart? I've seen some DJs use Denon, not in person, but I've seen videos. And it could just be because I'm in Texas. I don't know. Maybe in Europe they have a different system, but most of the time DJs use the same stuff. So I'm just kind of curious of how these other brands are going to like differentiate and market to, you know, especially when the licensing thing kind of cuts, they cut ties with that. How are they going to differentiate and, and market their own thing so they can really be successful? Because Serato's about to be full on with pioneer and that's gonna be like for us do y'all know what's gonna happen standalone dj software that could be really really interesting because it's already well regarded as a standalone platform so if we were getting rain gear and newmark gear and denon dj gear that as well as running embedded standalone software also ran really good laptop software called engine dj laptop or whatever that could be pretty cool another thought is that if this were a bigger industry 
then there might be some pretty close eyes on whether this is becoming a monopoly situation for mm -hmm. Pioneer DJ because by the Digital DJ Tips annual census, it looks like Pioneer DJ is about to own both Recordbox and Serato, which is 78, 79% of the software market. You know, if this was a big industry and not a niche industry, there'd be eyes on that, but worth bearing in mind that fact. And- Interesting. I didn't know that either. That's it really, it's my first thoughts on that. I'd love to know what you think though, if you're a Serato user or a Recordbox user or an engine DJ user, or just a keen observer of this world. Is this going to benefit Algorithms DJ Pro AI? Is it going to benefit Virtual DJ? Uh, is it bad for the industry? Is it good for the industry? As I say, this has caught me on the hop a bit because I'm taking a well-deserved summer break, but hey, from somewhere in the middle of the Mediterranean, here's my first thoughts on that. Let me know underneath in the comments what you think about it. But meanwhile, yeah, I think, uh, I think some of these brands are going to start teaming up with the, these other DJ softwares. I don't know any other DJ softwares, but Serato... Record box and virtual DJ. I've never really touched on anything else. I know there's other brands out there, but I haven't touched on them. But you're probably gonna start seeing Newmark, Denon, all these other things get their own licensing deals with these other software brands. And respectfully so because Pioneer, bro. Like I said. I think it's already a monopoly. I don't know how these other companies are doing well in sales but when it comes to djs out here who are like professional most of them i know they're using pioneer pioneer and or serato so we'll see we'll see i know some wedding djs they use virtual dj but they're wedding djs when it comes to these club djs rap concerts rock you know whatever they use serato so we gonna see, but it's your boy DJ Kane. Let me know your thoughts. I'm out. Yee. <laughs>